So, another unboxing today. As you can see from the title, this is the Smith's Everest PRS25. This is a watch that is um, quite difficult to get. Um, but I'll talk about that later. Let's let's get it on with the unboxing. So yeah, just a uh, regular um, cardboard box or something. It comes in this travel case. It's in the booklet. See what's inside. Obligatory. Time factors. This is the online store that sells these watches. Let's take it off. Ta da! Nice. Very, very nice. Let's peel this off. Wow, this is this is very, very impressive in the flesh I've only seen pictures of this watch so far and it's I mean it's quite small so 36 millimeters but man wow, it looks good very elegant let's give it a good wipe here well, there it is in all its splendor 36 millimeters. Uh, I don't know the lug to lug, but it's pretty short. I think it's 44. Signed crown as the kind is open because I want to set the time. Uh, riveted, far, far rivet bracelet. Uh, it's kind of coarse, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, signed clasp. Three micro adjustment holes. Okay, so I set the time, and uh, now it's uh, 9 p.m. And now we can talk about the watch a little. So, as I said, it's 36 uh, millimeters in diameter, 39.3 uh, millimeters including the crown. Lug to lug is 43.5 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters um, it's powered by the Miyota 9039 which means that it doesn't have a ghost date which is cool uh, it beats at uh, 28,800 uh, beats per hour um, has a nice slightly domed sapphire crystal as you can see now this is a new version of this watch they have uh, switched the logo uh, which was very um, how do you say how do you say it pronounced coarse it was like a big uh, chunk of text that said Smith's and now the minute hand is hiding it, but uh, it says Smith Deluxe, which is how um, the Smith watches uh, dials the, the logo that they had originally. And when I say originally, I, I um, refer to the 50s. So this watch is um, it has an interesting story. It's an homage to the Rolex Explorer uh, 1016, but 
I'm not gonna go into it, there's lots of info about it on YouTube and uh, online in general, but basically another Smith's watch summited Mount Everest with Edmund Hillary and his aide, which I uh, forgot now his name, and uh, it's, it's uh, together with another Rolex watch. Then Rolex made, uh, I think, the first reference, I think, 1016 or maybe something else, but they made the Explorer as we know it with the 369 uh, configuration. Now, Smiths, um, uh, Edmund Hillary wrote Smiths that he took the watch to the top of the Mount Everest and it worked fine. And, uh, um, you know, they started using it in their adver advertisements and such. And anyway, um, Fast forward, I don't know, to when uh, a guy from, uh, the, I think the Quartz, Quartz Crisis uh, knocked out this company. Um, and some guy from the UK brought, bought this the name. And he started making wa uh, watches with the logo. And he made, he um, created this uh, model, which is an homage, as I said. But I feel that this is an homage with substance, if that makes sense. This is a... Uh, I mean, it has something behind it. Because this watch, in a sense, in another way, did summit the M Mount Everest. Not this model again, some other model, I forgot the name of the model, but... This is uh, the story. So... Um, you can see we have um, brushing here on the lugs and uh, polished sides. The case back is pretty plain. It's pretty plain. Uh, it's has a water resistance of 100 meters. And. Um, well, I need to resize it, but let's see how it wears on the wrist. So yeah, it wears well. It looks bigger on the cell phone camera, as always. But, uh, I mean, it's small, but it's 36 millimeters. I know what I was getting myself into. I really like it. I'm gonna resize it and... Uh, let's show you the loom. Well, just a sec. Yeah, so very nice loom. Very nice. Uh, the watch cost uh, 325 pounds, British pounds. And, um, well, uh, from my very first impressions, I think it's worth it. This watch is very sought after by uh, watch enthusiasts. And uh, for a good reason, because it's a very good. Uh, classic Explorer homage and the way that uh, this guy is named Eddie, Eddie Platts how he sells these watches is uh, he, he opens his website for orders for like 30 minutes like every few months and if you manage to get it then uh, good for you but if you don't then you have to wait a few more months which is quite a bummer and this is what happened to me in the last time when he opened like uh, few months ago but luck was on my side um, the I think a week and a half ago uh, 13th of September when he uh, opened the site and I managed to snag one so yeah this is the watch when we size it I gotta say that it feels very it feels like it has substance it's hefty and I like that. I mean, for some reason I'm thinking of a Psycho 5. Of a Psycho 5. And uh, this is this feels like a... No, it just has this heft. Good heft. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.